Hello there, Steve Rosse here in Sydney, Australia, bringing you the tuba class number three online. I'm the principal tuba player of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. I'm running Creative Coaching Productions, and this is the third online tuba studio class um, over 10 weeks while we are all in isolation. I'm here on my own in my home, in my studio, and uh, today we're going to get into a lot of playing. There's going to be less talking. We're going to get into some for some stretching, then we're going to do some breathing, a little bit of meditation, and then we're going to go playing with the tuba. Now I'm going to play in the first half with the C tuba, the second half the F tuba, we're going to go a little bit higher, we're going to get a little bit deeper in the breathing than we did in the last sessions. Thank you for joining, and here we go. Let's just start by getting all of the tension out of our bodies. Do a nice big wiggle, wiggle, and uh, we're going to stretch and breathe at the same time now, all right? We want to put our hands in front of us like this, and we're going to expand our lungs and take a big breath in all together. Here we go. And as you expand, let your tummy come out, your chest rise, and you will expand the lungs here. Let's do 10 of these together. Deeper. Wonderful. Wiggle again. Get everything loose. All right. We'll get into the meditation and the unplugging in a few minutes here. All right. All right. Now I want you to all just bend your knees and uh, we're going to do five air squats like we did before the breath in and the breath out. Here we go. Five. Great. Shake yourself off. Now, get yourself calm and relaxed. Three big deep breaths. Standing up. Close your eyes. Go for the sound of the air and go for the big relax fullness of the feeling of it. All right, here we go. Most beautiful sound in your head. Great. We're going to stretch some more now. We are going to go onto our toes and we're going to reach the ceiling. How high is your ceiling? Can you touch it? Some of you out there have low ceilings, you can touch it. Mine's too high here. All right, so here we go. We're going to get onto our toes and we're going to reach for the ceiling on our toes. And then as you come down on your feet, Bring your hands back like this. You feel the stretching sensation. Bang. All right. We're going to do three more of those. Up on your toes. And down. Pull your arms back even further this time. Okay. Up. See if you can go higher. You can touch the sky. Yeah. And one more. Here we go. Up. On your toes and exhale as you come down, come back down on your feet, shake it off again. Five, five deep breaths. All right, just deep breaths. Here we go.
Wonderful. Now we're going to do some expansion breaths with our hands again. Five. Should be deeper than last time. Great. Needling. Five big side breaths. Close your eyes. Begin to meditate. Great. Now we will continue with our breathing, meditating, unplugging. This is where you make sure any electronic device you have in the room is switched off completely, unless it's the one that you're using for this session. And for that one, you might want to consider taking off your notifications so that there's no beeps or vibrations that will distract you. All right, now, whatever is going on in the outside world, whenever you get to this video, whatever that might be, this is the time to leave that outside of the walls that you're in. This is where the mind game is king. Once you're in control of your mind and how you think and where your attention goes, you'll be able to have the best possible practice session. All right, so we're just gonna take 15 to 20 big deep breaths as we detach from the outside of the world. We're going to blow all the thoughts away and we're going to inhale our most beautiful sound. We're going to inhale attention, energy, and health, being physical health, mental health, emotional health. Bring that all in, blow everything else out. All right? 15 of these big deep breaths. Wonderful. Got your practice journal? Now's the time to write, how do you feel? And now's the time to write, what kind of sound do I want to make in the rest of this session? Speaking of sound, let's pick up our instruments. If you're a tuba player, pick up the tuba. If you're playing anything else, that's all fun, all right? Now we're just going to hold our instrument and get that sensation of that gentle, easy, strong air going in. And say that to yourself, gentle, easy, strong air. All right? You can have strength with gentleness. All right? So here we go. Five breaths just through the instrument. Big deep breath. 
or whatever kind of breath you need to take for your trumpet, your horn, your trombone, whatever you might be playing. Here you go. We always start with the basic of basics. Even though each one of these classes will go on to more advanced levels through the middle and the end, we will always start basic, basic, basic. All right? Let's play now our open fundamental note, whatever note that might be. For me and C tuba players, it will be a concert C. For you, whatever your open note is, it's fine. We'll be in, in intervals if you're not in a C keyed instrument. Five C.
energy, and we're going to come down all the way to the pedal C. push-ups, less air squats, do more if you want, but for those of you who are new to this, we're going to do five push-ups, five air squats, and then we're going to go to a plank and do five big deep breaths. And I hope the camera picks me up here, um, I better move the bench, because a plank is where you're going to want to keep your body pretty much straight, you keep your bum, your butt up a little bit, hold yourself like this, hold yourself with with your lat muscles here and your back muscles, not your arm, all right? And, and again, like for the push-ups, uh, reminder for the push-ups, get your shoulder blades back and down. That will protect your rotator cuff and it will ensure that you're exercising the proper muscles and not putting strain on your, on your joints. All right, so here's a plank. Hope you can see me. If not, Google it, all right? So here's a plank. And when we do the plank, we're going to take five big, deep, tuber breaths. Like that. That was one. All right? Five push-ups, five air squats, and then this. It's really good for you. It's good for your health. It gets your, it gets your lymphatic system going. It gets your blood oxidized. It's good for everything. Health, well-being, immune system, blah, blah, blah. All right? Here we go. Five bench push-ups, like in uh, the last lesson, five air squats, and then a plank, I'll put the bench over there, plank for five breaths, and then we'll take a five breath rest, and we'll, we will repeat it twice. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just five. Here we go.
One. Five bit deep breaths. Great. Like with the push up, if you're having troubles with the plank, it's fine to just do it with your knees. All right? Not sure if you can see this. I'm alone. We are in isolation here. All right, now, five feet breath, five breath, five breaths. Each breath is the beat. Relax your body, slow down your heart. Drop your shoulders. Up. There you go. Next round. Two more rounds. Five. Here we go. One. Five beat breath. Five breath beat rest. You just meditate as well. This next round, if you can do more than 5, 5, 5, 20, 20, 20, 100, 100, 100, whatever it is, do it. Push yourself, um, but do the form properly and do not brag about it and do not compare it to anybody else. This is only your, your own competition with yourself.